Hey friends, it's Jen and I have another awesome Felicity Jane kit to share with you. This is the uh, October Hannah kit and it is so pretty. I can't wait to show you all of it. So let's go ahead and start with the papers as per usual. Now I have two paper packs um, so I can show you both sides of the paper at once and I would definitely highly suggest getting um, multiple paper packs if you love the patterns which I usually do. So um, the first we have the floral which is a classic Felicity Jane. Um, this isn't, I wouldn't say this is a classic Felicity Jane floral but she always does a floral and I love this one because it is a little bit different. It's more uh, kind of playful and whimsical rather than realistic and I love that the pieces aren't filled in exactly correctly and the color scheme is glorious. This is my perfect autumnal color scheme is pinks with darker like this darker purpley mauve um, burgundy color almost so I love that. So there is the front side and I'm just gonna make sure that you can see all of the papers as we go through them here. The back side Oh, my papers are stuck together. Is this fun, funky dot? I love this. It's so interesting, and it's it's random. It's definitely random. You can see that it, there's not really a pattern, uh, and I really like it. These large dots are super cute, and I love that they're just kind of uh, wonky. And then the branding strip is these little dots, and they kind of look like a little rainbow. So that's cute. There's lots of black and whites in the Felicity Jane kits always because black and white is Felicity Jane. Okay, next we have this gorgeous print. I love the colors here, the tone on tone with that. These shades of blue are just really pretty. I love them. So there we've got that, and this one's called Diamonds and Stripes. So you can probably guess that the back has stripes. This is just a nice uh, pinstripe in that light blue. And the branding strip has that kind of burgundy to light pink ombre. Really cute. Next, we have some warmth. We've got this dark wood grain. And I love the warmth that a dark wood grain adds to a kit like this. It automatically makes it feel more autumnal, even though it's still fresh and florally and pretty and bright. So I really love that. Then the back of that one is kind of this fish scale pattern, although when I see it like this, it reminds me of the a gingerbread house, and that definitely feels more this kind of season, right? And then we've got the polka dots on the bottom in the colors of the kit, and I just think this is a beautiful, um, like, sampling of the colors right here. Love that. Okay, next we have scallops and tiles. This is again that mermaid, it's kind of that mermaid scale, but when it's done in these colors, it definitely feels more like a gingerbread house roof or something. Um, it's really, really pretty. You could cut around these and use them as a border, like a little scalloped border. I think it's just really, really cute. Then the back of that one is this pink. It's like a mauve color. I had a couch this color growing up. This is like the perfect um, kit for that couch of mine. But it has, it's it's like a little bit, I don't know, it looks quilty, but it's basically it's little rounded squares all shoved together and it gives this illusion of these X's in the middle of them. So I really love that. And then the branding strip has the floral on it. Really pretty. Next we have diagonal and window panes. So this is just a diagonal stripe in the nice pink color. And then the back is basically a grid, but you, like she mentioned, like the, the name says, it could represent window panes. Um, so I like the kind of, I really do feel like gingerbread housey about this a little bit. And then the branding strip has these little hearts on it. I love this paper. So this is arrows and words. So here we've got kind of, it's a chevron, but you see how the colors go back and forth between um, all of the colors of the kit. I love this. It's a very fresh take on a chevron, which chevron can get old looking. And I like the newer twists on the chevron that I've been seeing lately. And this is one of them for sure. And then this is just the cutest thing ever. 
just the way you are. This would be the perfect background paper. Put a photo here, put some florals maybe. I love that. Um, and this is something a little bit different. And so I like that we're switching things up a little bit that way. And so if you like this paper, then get two because <laughs> that's the back. Um, and there's a little branding strip with polka dots on it. Now all of the kits come with coordinating cardstock sheets. So for this kit, we've got that kind of pinky mauve color. And then the branding strip is this scallop, so you could cut that off at the half inch mark, or you could leave it on and trim a half inch off the top. And I like that option. And then the back of that is this light pink. So they're two toned solids, which I also, I love that. And then we've got the blue. So that nice, I don't even know what color blue to call this, but I love it. This is one of my favorite colors of blue. And then we've got the darker blue as well. And I just love the way that makes the kit feel. Um, just, I don't know, I love the feel of this kit. So now that we've got these solids on top, let's pull out some of the embellishments so we can check out how they look with the kit. Um, I'm gonna start with the alphabets. This is the Hannah Epoxy Alphabet. Um, so we've had epoxy alphabets in the past and I love them. They're like kind of flexible, uh, semi-translucent. Let's just take a look and we'll just see, yeah. So you can see they are a little bit translucent. You can see a little bit through them and I really like that. Let me show you, let's see if I can show you up against this polka dot here that you can sort of see the polka dot through the letters. I don't know if you can really tell, but in real life I can. Anyway, um, so they're just a little bit transparent. So those are the alphabets. I'm gonna try to stick things on here where they won't glare as much for you, so uh, bear with me. Let's take a look at the three by four cards. It always comes with three by four cards, so if you're a pocket scrapbooker, that works out great. If you're not, I love using these on regular layouts. And the backs of all of them are either a grid or a dot grid, so they're simple to use even if you don't like the fronts of the cards. You can use these for journaling or you know put an embellishment on, on this or whatever. So be good to yourself. I love the encouragement of this kit. I will just say that right off. I love it. Um, be good to yourself. Love. I love this. And you could punch this out with a circle punch and that would be a cute embellishment. So that's kind of how I'm looking at three by four cards now is how I would use them on a layout for the most part. Sometimes I like to do a grid and keep them intact or I do the occasional pocket page. This one is great, you could just put a label, um, not a label, uh, like a stamp here, or you could put a label here and then put a floral on top, that would be cute. Love, love cards like this. You can make a list, one to nine. This one's just a notebook paper, perfect for journaling. Finding beauty in the mess, yes to that. T for today. Love that polka dot with the different colors. Here we've got those same dots that are in the chevron, but they're just in straight lines. That would be great for journaling on as well. Love this, it's like a little tab. So you could cut around that and use that as an actual tab in layers on a layout. This cute little, that's that same pattern that's in the pink background right here, but it's just black and white. It looks really cool, black and white. And then we've got that little bit of floral there. So love those cards. Those are really great. Uh, let's take a look at the die cuts. I'll go ahead and open these. I did look at this before because I couldn't help myself <laughs> when I got it. And I didn't, I wasn't able to film it right away, which is unfortunate. But okay, so we've got some little circles. We've got a high, a little circle. I mean, a little heart in a circle. Uh, there are a bunch of little floral pieces, which I love. So I put it off to the side so you can sneak a peek. Hmm. Yeah, lots of cute little florals. There's even like this you could use for journaling or something. This one I was kind of thinking would be cute, like if you stuck it on this card and then stamped something right there, I think that would be really cute. There is a bicycle and here is Hannah. She is the cutest. She reminds me of my bestie CJ's daughter, Sarah. Um, it's her to a T. In fact, I promised CJ I'd give her this little <laughs> this little die cut because it reminds her of Sarah too. Anyway, she's wearing this cute skirt with some sandals. Transitioning to fall is how I feel like she, she is. She's got her 
um, little like jean shirt, her chambray shirt maybe. The bun, I love everything about this girl. She's so cute. And there's always a stamp that goes along with each girl, so check that out if you're interested in just a stamp of this girl. Um, we've got some words. Journey, season, like the season of life or the seasons are changing. It's okay. That would be cute on a card, I think. And it's got that, um, it's like a rose gold foil or a copper foil. Really pretty. Uh, we've got some labels. Let's show you all the labels here. So some with the little holes that you could tie string through. And then some just regular. There's glitter and foil. If you can see that. Really pretty. I like the copper. That gives it that warmth too. The copper does. Um, and then we've got some tags. Oh, there's another couple floral pieces. And here are the different tags. I love the blue. And I love the... I love them all. They're really cute. Aren't they cute? Okay. Those are the die cuts. Let's take a look at these little tool bows. So there's four little bows in here. I am going to open this. Because... Oh, they're held on to the backing sheet with just a little piece of tape, but look how cute are these. I love them. They're like thin, and this one has like a bit of a shine to it. Can you see that? They're really, really cute. So there's two white ones, kind of a peachy color, which matches this pink. It's a little bit of a darker shade of that, and then a darker pink. And I think it would be fun to try to color one of these um, white ones with maybe some spray mist or something. Uh, those are really sweet. I love those. I'm just thinking like you could put that on one of these cards too. I don't know. Anyway, so there's the tool bows. Let's see. Those are going to glare for you. Mm, that's not too bad. Okay. Then we have these adorable epoxy stickers. And I don't think we've had stickers like this before. These are really fun. Let's just take them out of the packaging though. Oops. You know what, I'm not gonna wanna keep it in that packaging, so I'm just gonna pull it apart. Look at these. I'm gonna put this up against the packaging again so you can see. Okay, we've got like this reddish, uh, this actually I think is the wood grain. There's a couple of sizes here. They're really slight differences, but you can tell between the top and bottom one that there is a difference. So this is the wood grain. We've got that lighter blue, the darker blue, which almost pulls purpley if you wanted it to. We've got the pink, the darker pink, and then look at that copper foil. I mean, not foil, glitter. That's so cute. Then we've got these ones that say go with the flow. These are flex. They're flexible, by the way. These are cool. There's another little bicycle. Remember right now, pause, which I like that reminder, a little flower and a heart. Those are so cute. That's something a little bit different, um, and I like that. Okay, this is different too, and I love this. These are little tickets. It's a tag book, actually. So they come like this, and they stay in this little booklet, and you can rip them out. So they, they are perforated. You can see the perforation there. Um, and they're just different little tags. So some of them are filled with a pattern like this one. Um, some of them are just easy to write on or stamp on. I love stuff like this. That one says today was. It's upside down. There's a floral that's not filled in. You could color that if you wanted to. Okay, so there's four. So there's eight on each side. So that means there's 16 different tags in here. Look at those. Really easy to use. Those are so cute. I love that idea. Okay, and then we have some washi tape, which I will also open really quick. This is cute, as per usual. I like the black and white washi because it goes with everything, and it doesn't get old. This one's fun because it has a scalloped um, detail on it, so it, let me see if I can find where it starts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There we go. Okay, this is a really good quality too. Like when you peel it off, it's so smooth. But look at this. This is great to add to anything. And the background is basically clear. So no matter what you add it to, you're not going to see much of the background of it. I want to just, let me grab a scrap of paper from my drawer here. So here it is on like 
a cream colored paper it just looks like a regular black scallop and then if you were to put it on a colored paper you'll see it a little bit more but it still kind of blends into the background so that's a cool washi tape I really like it all right so we've got the washi and last but not least the stamp set and this is definitely definitely my favorite part and let me tell you why. Oh, I love this floral so, so much. I can't even describe. I love, 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 love it. Um, I can't wait to make a card with this, actually. And I want to use the phrase on my mind. Um, you could use this as a journaling prompt for things that are on your mind. But I love the idea of telling someone that they're on your mind. So I'm going to make a card with this one very soon. Um, I love Be True to Yourself, Answers, Questions, all part of my story. Now I like the idea of doing putting a list of questions like you could put questions in a column and then answers in another column and answer all of the questions or have your child answer all the questions. I love that. Um, it says okay now what? All part of my story. There's three little dots that you can use as like I love to draw. Lately I've been drawing little dots as like in, instead of splattering on my pages so that would be great for that but also to sprinkle in with the the florals. Uh, looking ahead and may your choices reflect your hopes not your fears. A good reminder. So I absolutely love this stamp set. By far my favorite thing. Um, get the kit. If you don't get the kit, get the stamp set. It is great and it's sold separately as well. So I'll leave links to everything in the video description. And lately I've instead of been working with the kits as a whole I've been kind of mixing it into my stash and just um, using bits and pieces on my pages lately. Uh, so watch my channel for me using these products and a card using, definitely using this floral. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to click that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos from me. I've linked to my Felicity Jane playlist on my YouTube channel here, as well as my most recent process video. I hope to see you again soon and have a very crafty day.